The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the November 18th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary day. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but much more important than that. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. But if you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can let those fingers do the walking. You can send me an email, steve at tfn.com. Of course, if you're in the Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we've got the markets that are a bit mixed out here. You've got the Dow and the semis that are trading up slightly. The uh, semis are up five points, about a, a quarter of a percent. Uh, the Dow is up 16 points. That's less than one-tenth of a percent. To the upside, the S&P is basically flat. The NDX, we'd say the same thing. The Russell's off a quarter of a point, a quarter percentage, uh, down about four bucks. Um, so a mixed bag. Gold is up $4. Uh, ran into resistance, the top of its daily profile. That's $14.74. I'm sure we will go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, you've got uh, silver is up seven pennies. Light sweet crude is back a buck. Treasury bonds are up a half a point. <clears throat> Right now, they're trading out at 158 and 24, 30 seconds. That's the 30-year lead in the charge to the upside. You've got Karuna Therapeutics up 55 bucks, 311%. That's a good day. Chipotle up 16 bucks or 2%. CoStar Group, $13, 2%. Equinix up 8, 1.5%. ABMD is the leader to the downside, 28 bucks and change. Cabot. Microelectronics is off 20 bucks. That's 13 percent. Mercado Libre, 15 bucks to the downside. So plenty to look at. But we're going to begin looking at the ES Mini with Jeff in Dallas. Jeff, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Steve. How are you? Very good. Thanks so much for asking. So uh, sure. tell me, uh, uh, what are you looking at in the ES Mini? How can we help you? Yeah, I'm well, just looking at the weekly um uh, chart here. Uh, you got a nice uh, trend line touch resistance. Okay. And uh, look, looking maybe to do um, a vertical call credit spread out to maybe Friday uh, around this strike price, the 25s. And and so you're looking at just 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 so I can try to do the same thing that you're doing. But you're you're going to look at some type of call sure. spread through Friday, and you're going to base it on what's going on in a weekly time frame chart. Y yeah, that's correct. Okay, and so what? Where is it you're targeting that the ES Mini would get to then? Twenty uh, fives. The ES Mini. Yeah. You're looking for this to trade down to thirty twenty five. Yeah, thirty twenty five. Yeah. Thirty twenty five. Thirty one twenty five. Excuse me. Thirty one. Uh, up to thirty one twenty five. Yeah. yeah so another six points. Well, um, yeah. so if you're asking me, will this trade up another seven points or so? Uh, there's um, and I won't look at the weekly chart right now. Here's here's what I think you're up against uh, when we take a look at the ES Mini. 
And that's and that's the following. I'm just looking at the daily time frame chart. So today is going to be day nine of a TD setup nine count pattern. Now, look, these don't always work out here, but when you do see the ES or any instrument get into bar eight or nine out there, it what it should do is it should be a vote of uh, caution that this could be a top. Now, in this case here, if this pattern were to work, Jeff, uh, the top would occur on either bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. Well, today's going to be bar nine, so a slightly higher high could take place tomorrow. Again, the pattern does not always work out there, but it works enough that you should be cautious, at least. You'd prefer not to be entering into a long trade uh, when on a daily chart or any a daily chart more so than the weekly chart out there uh, is getting into that bar. So so that's a bit of a word of caution out there. Um, if this doesn't call a top and I can't tell you by Friday where the ES meaning would be, but uh, longer term. And again, I don't know the data on this, Jeff, but 3173 would not be out of the question. There's no real resistance. If I look at the TAS market profiles as an example and I have the daily TAS market profiles up here for the ES mini and price is trading above it. So there's no resistance there. The only resistance that I could probably find for you in the ES mini would be taking a look at its uh, horizontal trading ranges and horizontal trading ranges are established either on and I have these both here for the daily weekly and the monthly the daily are the blue lines the weekly are the green lines and the monthly are the red lines this happens to be a monthly time frame chart that we're looking at but this would say about 3148 is the next resistance level on the daily time frame so you're dealing with a potential topping pattern on the ES a TD setup nine count it's going to confirm today unless something really horrible happens uh, from a price standpoint to the downside. And this would say the upside is about 3148 at the uh, moment. So those are what I'm seeing uh, when I take a look at the, these are the patterns that I'm looking at when I take a look at the ES mini. So okay. that information, so with that information, what questions would that pose for you that I can try to re-answer for that? Um, no, I, I think that that's that's very helpful because I think I'm, if I'm wrong in this area, then then I could I could move the uh, the vertical call spread higher and, and do it up do it up um, around the 48 level if it gets up there. Okay, so here's one of the things I would watch for, um, and this is on the shorter term time frame. So this is the 30 minute time frame chart, but at about uh, exactly um, four o'clock this morning, what the ES mini did for a 30 minute time frame was generated a topping signal. Uh, topping pattern, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. And then I'm not sure what took price down lower at 8.30 this morning, but price did break through a key level of support. That was the bottom of its 30-minute profile out there. And in that move lower, what we've seen here, Jeff, is a counter trend rally right up to a resistance level. It's called Stevie's Green Line, or the real name is the Oscillator Unchange Line. So price right now is up at a resistance area out here. Maybe this is going to form some type of A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Maybe price is going to move down to 30 3097 uh, and find some support. Um, but right now, there is a short term signal here that says that price may still want to move uh, a bit lower. And I've got a similar pattern coming from a five hour time frame chart out there. So I've got one from a short term. I've got one from a five hour, which I'll consider a bit longer. That was the TD setup eight count pattern. You and I took a look at that for the daily time frame. So I don't know how much more upside there is in the ES. We need to see what happens over the course of the next couple of days out here. OK. OK. Yeah, sounds great. I appreciate the info. You bet. Thanks so much for calling. That was Jeff sure. in Dallas, Texas. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. I'd love to hear from you as well. Phone lines are open. Email is open. Pings in the den are open. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, we're going to go to our first uh, request by email. Uh, this one coming in from uh, Max. Max writes in, he says, uh, looking to go long ACB. ACB is Aurora Cannabis. So uh, you're looking at the three different time frame charts, daily, weekly, and monthly on our screen right now. And uh, Max goes on to say, looking to go long uh, Aurora Cannabis. Uh, you gave us 237 as a, a target low, maybe 167 as well. Uh, the 237 level was met today. Is it a go is the uh, question mark. So the area is, I believe, that um, let's go take a look at a weekly. First, here's what we know. Prices below daily, weekly, and monthly profiles. And as we speak right now, Max, is below the monthly level, 267. Uh, so there was a 267 price point I probably provided as well. Uh, here on a weekly time frame, let me see if this is where the 237 no, I got 229 out here, maybe 230. We'll put a look at the monthly time frame chart. But 229 is a, and, and if you're, folks, if you're asking what was that level that uh, we had given to Max out here or that I would give you right now, 229 is the uh, breakout area on a weekly basis that formed back on November 3rd or the week of November 3rd, 2017. And uh, that is a support area. Uh, the question is, or what we'd like to see when things are occurring at a support area, well, first you'd like to see it hold. Week's not over. That's a weekly level out there, Max. It's only Monday. We need to know what the end of the week looks like in order to go ahead and say that that would be a buy, unless you and I could find some type of buying signal pattern on a daily time frame chart, which isn't there, but we'll go back and we'll take a look at that. So yes, prices come back into a, or is coming back into a breakout area of 229. That's the weekly level, but if it closes below that, it says it wants lower price. Where would be the next lower price on the weekly level? 32 cents. 
and don't think that it can't happen. As we as as the charts speak right now, it's totally in play. Uh, that's when we take a look at the weekly time frame. Let me pull over the. Give me a moment here. Let me pull over the monthly time frame. We'll also eventually get to the daily for Aurora Cannabis. And I got to believe if it's like this chart is like this for Aurora Cannabis, it's like this for the entire pot sector out there. Don't quote me on that. But the monthly time frame here, Max says, wait for a buck sixty. Here you've got the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. This is going to be month number five of a TD9 count. We don't know if it will actually get to form a TD9 count, but the breakout level here is a buck sixty. So now we've got to go take a look at the daily time frame. We know that price is trading below support with regard to its profile levels out there, daily, weekly, and monthly. If we go take a look at uh, what is it doing today, that price move lower today uh, gets the uh, buzzer of nastiness because the move lower is with relative strength to the downside. Through last week on Friday and Thursday when we were looking at this, price was stretching with less relative energy, but it found its gusto today. And uh, today's going to be bar number six of a TD setup nine count. Maybe it works on bar number nine. So, Max, you know, let's come and take a look at this it's today, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's be Thursday, Friday, likely. Um, and you're going to first need to see some type of bullish reversal candle out here. You probably need to see a close above Stevie's red line on the daily basis. That's currently at 303. But forget about the 303 level out there. You need to at least see the bulls show up and suggest to you that they're going to try to uh, to uh, flex their muscle. And right now, when it comes to Aurora Cannabis, there's nothing but sellers around and very few people that are in the money. So, Max, I say keep your eye on it. Look for some type of bullish reversal candle. And when you see that, uh, call the doctor, the doctor of love. Um, let's go to our next question out there. No idea where that came from, but it just sounded good. Maybe not to you. But uh, HD writes in and he says, hey, Steve, thought about going along XRT. So let's go take a look at XRT out here, see what that is. See, that's an ETF, is it? Uh, yeah. So that is the Spider S&P Retail. ETF out here. So let me uh, get it going on my other screens, continue writing the question. So thought about going long XRT, thinking support is about 44 bucks. And uh, would you take a look at and comment, please? Okay, so here's what we know right now. Price is trading within, it's consolidating with inside its daily, bullish structure daily profile. You said $44. $44.12 is definitely support. This is a bullish structured profile. A resistance is at $45.15. So you're more than halfway through your through this profile. Uh, and we don't know if 4515 is going to provide us with the resistance or not. We're going to go look at the daily time frame, see if there's any kind of topping signals that occurred on the most recent high out there. The weekly profiles, prices traded above those. So that's bullish. And from a monthly standpoint, uh, HD, price is sitting right at its uh, the bottom of its profile. So that was old support, which right now is resistance. The price point it's trading at is 44.75. The bottom of the box is 44.75. Yikes! So, so now what do we do? Now what do you do? Do you do you enter a, a long trade here because that's what you're thinking of doing? You know, you 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 would certainly feel better if price was above 44.74. But really, above 45.15, the top of that daily profile. Now, let's bring over the daily time frame chart, see if there's any type of topping signal out here. And, you know, we see an A to B equals CD pattern. That looks like this. Let's go ahead and draw this in just to kind of get a target out here. And so the target for that A to B equals CD to the upside could take you to 46.94. But we can't give you that go ahead until we see price close through resistance so the better and it's in wave number six that's letter f so if it does take out that prior high it would be entering wave number seven that'd be letter g just a caution sign out there so look your better place to go ahead and buy xrt would be another test of that bullish support level of 44 12 out here at least better with regard to being down at support so i think you've got the support area nailed 
right now because you're close to resistance area out here it'd be hard on a from the daily chart for me to give you the go ahead the weekly chart doesn't have any kind of topping signal and the monthly we know it's dealing with the bottom of its profile out there so that's my take on what the charts are communicating to you again i think in summary you've got the bottom or support nailed and that's where i'd be a buyer not here at 44.74 let's go to uh, glenn uh, who's calling from uh, Boston and in his car? Uh, keep your eyes on the road. And uh, Glenn, tell me what you're uh, what you're looking for in the healthcare sector XLV. Oh, hi, Steve. Uh, I'm a uh, uh, past subscriber to uh, some of your newsletters. And, well, thanks. Uh, I, I, hi there, sir. And I remember uh, the way how you uh, present some of your uh, ETFs. You you have uh, both like a, a short term, medium, and long term, uh, and uh, I wanted to see what your feeling was on uh, the healthcare uh, uh, sector in the uh, short term. Uh, XLV as in uh, victory. So are you are you in the healthcare sector itself, the XLV, or what do you are you looking at getting? Just give me a little bit more feel for what you need, and then I'll uh, give it to you. Uh, Last week, uh, Friday, um, I always like to—I uh, always like to be a contrarian, Steve, on the news. Okay. Uh, but but not but but not on uh, chart reading. Well, hold hold um, so, the hold the contrarian hold the contrarian view just for a moment. We're about to go to a hard break. We come back. We'll let you uh, uh, give that additional information, and I'll I'll help you as best I can on the healthcare sector. Ticker symbol XLV. We'll be right back. Thanks. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter. And if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're on the line with Glenn in Boston. We're taking a look at or we're talking about XLV. So, so Glenn, you were saying that on Friday, uh, before we had to go to break, on Friday, um, you're, or you're a contrarian as it relates to news, but not necessarily stock charting. But I didn't, I didn't know how that tied into Friday. So go ahead and continue uh, so you can assist me so I can figure out how to best provide the information you're looking for. Yes, yes, Steve. So I'm looking for your your uh, uh, on your newsletter. It's normally weekly outlook uh, on uh, XLV. Um, okay. Uh, on on a f Friday, I believe it was uh, like late morning. <clears throat> there was uh, news all over the uh, um, uh, like the Bloomberg radio that uh, candidate Elizabeth Warren had dropped some uh, aggressive. Uh, uh, hostile uh, proposals toward uh, uh, sure. Medicare or some of her uh, health uh, plans, and the uh, the news made all the um, health-related uh, stocks uh, pop. Um, and uh, I, to, to me, I, uh, that, that's just a knee-jerk reaction to. To news, and so I want to go the opposite, uh, okay. and uh, uh, and uh, go against uh, the health sector. Okay, okay, all right. So good. So so that's very helpful. Thanks for explaining that uh, to us. Uh, and and by doing that, I'm sure that the same thoughts that were going on through your mind are going through uh, other listeners' minds as well. So here's what we can say. Now the cool thing about technical analysis. At, the, at least at this stage of the game, I'm not familiar with a software package that when you highlight the bar, uh, it tells you and I what actually took place that day. So in your mind, you know it took place on Friday, but you're doing technical analysis. We're kind of agnostic to it, right? We just take a look at each day's bars, look for patterns to help us understand what's going on. But for one thing I do want to point out to you, uh, and, and you'll be able to watch this if you go back and watch the archive on Target TV uh, later on when you're not on the road out there. And that's the following. First, this chart that I have up on my screen takes a look at the S&P 500 in each of its sectors. And what it also does is it takes a look at the global flow of uh, capital, meaning I'm looking at how each of these sectors are also trading in relationship to euros, yen, and pounds. So we can take a look at the S&P 500, in this case here via the SPY, and see how it's trading in dollars. And what I've done is we're, we're taking a look going back 32 days. 32 days ago was October the 3rd, and on October the 3rd, the markets made their most recent bottom. And when a market makes a top or a bottom, what I like to do is I like to go back and understand where is the flow of capital moving into? Is it being concentrated in any one instrument out here? And lo and behold, within the sectors of the S&P 500, Glenn, the XLV, the healthcare sector, is up 10.5%. The XLK is up 11.75, and what that really does for the healthcare sector, it puts it in the number two slot. Uh, so you do have a decent amount of money that is pouring in here, and that's really what you want to understand, right? If you're going to be a seller of this healthcare sector, you'd really like to sell, and you'd like to see that that pop that took place out there. Um, you know, it was there money pouring in across the globe? Where is it at in relationship to the most recent bottom that formed out there? And so it, the order would be XLK, XLV, then behind that would be the uh, XLF. So those are the three top sectors out there. Uh, then you've got the industrial sector uh, where money is was pouring into. Now, not to say that your inclination is wrong. I am definitely not saying that. And what I, what I mean by that, Glenn, and for everybody else that's out there, if you were looking for a topping signal or potential topping signal in any instrument, one of them that you would like to see and look at out here would be wave number seven. In fact, I believe that Basil Chapman is doing a workshop Wednesday, tomorrow, Wednesday, sometime this week out here. And if you haven't taken one of his workshops, you should. One of the one of the tools that that I borrow from Basil is wave number seven. That's letter G. 
Uh, and that's what it is in right now. Now, it hasn't confirmed, uh, letter G, and what I mean by that, tomorrow could be a higher high than today. And if so, that uh, wave letter just continues to expand. So you need to see a lower high before that pattern would actually complete. If you did take a short, and even if you took it today, you're going to need to see price close below Stevie's green line out there. And that's 95.95. So any pullback, Glenn, to the 95.95 level would be nothing more than a test of support. On top of that, at 95.67 is the top of the daily profile. So that's old resistance, which could become new support. So at this stage here, if you took the short, you're at 97.22 right now, and you need to know that at 95.67 to 95.95, you've got some very strong support. And that might be a place where you would even need to exit or certainly tighten up your stop if you were to take that trade. Mm. Uh, so, so right now, there's a potential for a topping signal. That's looking at the daily time frame chart. I know you've mentioned the weekly, so I'm going to put the weekly up here. And but but the the daily uh, seems to is so so your inclination. Um, that, hey, you'd like to actually sell into this can make sense to you or can make sense to me with the fact that the healthcare sector is in wave number seven. It's strong, though, with regard to dollar flow into the market. So that says, you know, got to be careful out here. The weekly time frame is in wave number six or letter F out there. Um, and, and I don't see any other topping signals. Boy, for it to get down just to test support, that would be a price point of 93.95 out there. Would have been nice for you to get the weekly and the daily in wave number seven. Oh, well, you don't always get what you want. Um, but right. I don't see... I don't see anything bearish on the when I take a look at the weekly time frame chart for the healthcare sector. Does any of that help you out? Yeah, sure. I, I'm. Uh, I know trees don't uh, uh, grow to heaven, uh, and normally, uh, uh, even from uh, n normally, uh, when when you hear news uh, to try and get uh, people in, it's normally at the top, and then sure. the smart money leaves. So uh, at 10.5% uh, increase as, uh, in the mm -hmm. last 30 odd days, as you, uh, yes. you're saying, that's a nice strong run. And yes. uh, it's going to end soon. And I'm just trying to uh, get your uh, feel as to um, a, a risk reward relationship. Um, yeah. It's, uh, uh, okay. So the risk, the risk is that. The, the risk on an XLV is that it's uh, it's above these real key levels of support, which even on a pullback, price still may find support at those areas out there. Um, okay. So you know, and 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 you're you're exactly right. You know, markets will not continue. Any market will not continue to just go higher um, indefinitely. But usually, the sign that uh, an attempt to push price lower will be some type of bearish reversal candle. Not always, right. but the majority of the time, that's what you'll see. And that's what's missing from this picture here. In fact, we have not that's seen a... That's good enough for me then, Steve. That's good enough for me. I'll, I'll, I'll wait for that oh. up there uh, candle. Okay. Okay, that's what that's what you that's what uh, that's what you should do. Hey, Glenn, thanks so much for calling. I appreciate it. We're about to go to the next hard break, and best of luck with that trade. Keep your eyes on the road, Thank and we'll look forward to speaking yes. to you again. Steve Roach with TFNN. Perfect. We'll be right back. I think we're going to take a look at the um, IYR for Mike and Phoenix, who couldn't stay on the line, but we'll take a look at the IYR next up. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, so Mike in uh, Phoenix, was it Mike? I think it was Mike. Yeah, Mike in Phoenix wanted to, wanted us to take a look at the IYR. That's the real estate sector uh, with inside the S&P 500. So, Mike, here's what we know. This made a nice bottom, a Gartley buy pattern. Uh, a Gartley buy pattern formed or confirmed, I should say, on November the 14th. And for a Gartley buy pattern, you need the A to B equals CD to the downside. We got that. Uh, just like uh, Glenn and I were talking about uh, waiting for a bearish reversal candle, at least for a potential top inside the healthcare sector, uh, this pattern completed with a bullish reversal candle. It's the reason why we say, hey, you know, look for some type of look for the cavalry either side of the cavalry out there. And that's what you got was that bull sash candle on November the 4th. The reason it's a Gartley was because there was a nice move from lower left to upper right. And then you just simply say, oh, okay, I missed that. So where's the next buy point? You look at the A to B equals CD pattern. The way that that completes, you look for the bullish reversal candle at around the one-to-one -one area, maybe one to 1.272, one to 1.618, whatever it is. Since then, we've had uh, one, two, three, four bars up, four days up in a row. Uh, um, the daily chart. No, so Gartley buy patterns out here typically result in five different outcomes. Those outcomes being the first one being the 0.382 retracement. So let's go take a look at this. We'll expand the map up here. And when I say retracements, I'm referring to the entire A to B equals CD pattern. So that's from the high out here on October 22nd to the low on November the 12th. We can see that price uh, on Friday closed right at the 0.382 level. That was 92.69. But it was also above the top of the daily profile. So it got to its first level and in doing so passed a key level of resistance. That was 92.41. It's continued to move higher today. I would say, Mike, that the next target is 93.95. It's at 93.47. That's a 0.618 retracement level. It may be that that's where it stops. It doesn't have to. It can move all the way up to the 0.786. That would be outcome number three. That would be 94.85. Outcome number four 
is a 100% move of a move. That's 96 bucks. Now come number five is that this whole thing turns into a new A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Let's not take a look at that. Let's just say that the next level is 93.95. Now, when we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, although the week just began, it's dealing with resistance. 93.47. That's the top of the weekly profile. Price is at 93.47 out there. So, yes, you've got five different potential outcomes, but we can't ignore other resistance. There's no resistance here on the monthly time frame. Well, so to speak. We'll go take a look at that, too. So, with regard to the weekly time frame, this, the weekly time frame says, okay, if this is nothing more than a counter trend rally, then it's not going to get much higher than where it's trading right now. Now, interestingly enough, if we come back to the lows, this is the uh, real estate sector, the lows of December in 2018, and we use our Chapman wave counts to identify, well, when it made the high out here, and the high in the y IYR was uh, the week of October 25th, this happens to be with wave number seven. That's letter G. You kind of get, I, I don't recall what instrument we were taking a look at. It might have been the XLV, and uh, that it is in wave number seven, or maybe it was the E. I, I can't recall what it was that was that we were looking at. But we got to wave number seven. We said, L look, just this is a caution sign. It can be the signal of a top or a bottom. And right now on the weekly base, the IYR is saying, okay, Steve-O, I understand your girly buy pattern. But now I'm going to stop price dead in its tracks at resistance. Well, at this stage of the game, that resistance level is 93.47. So um, that's saying, okay, you wouldn't want to enter a long trade right now. It definitely, the long trade to, to be entered would have been by the close of November 13th or the open on November 14th out there. The monthly time frame shows us that uh, it completed a TD setup nine count top last month. Now, when price was making that Gartley buy pattern, what price was also doing, it was, was testing Stevie's green line on the monthly chart. That was support. It's currently 90.47 out there. So the monthly says, I've got a topping signal in place. Yeah, I push price down to support, but I'm not certain that that means that I'm not going to push through support. The weekly says, hey, I've got a topping signal too, and this has just been a counter trend rally up to resistance, and the daily's got to wait to take its cue from the monthly right now. So, Mike, I hope that helps you out with regard to the IYR. If you're looking to go long, today's not the day to do it. In fact, I'd say you probably can't do it. Well, you can do it anytime you want. But uh, you've got to be careful because of the intermediate and longer term time frame signal that is out there. So uh, best of luck with that trade. LB wants me to, uh, I think I've updated him on, uh, he was interested in two symbols, ACB, we, we already did that, or cannabis, and UNG. So if we take a look at UNG, really all we need to do for LB is take a look at natural gas. And that's what we're going to do. We're just simply going to take a look at the daily contract. That's December. That's what makes up the uh, UNG. And at this stage here, I think that uh, natural gas, regardless of how cold it is outside, and folks, let me tell you something. I live in Delray Beach, and it almost seems like it's snowing. Now, I know if you look at the weather, you're going to say, I don't know, what is it? Maybe it's up to 70 degrees now. It was in the 50s this morning. The 50s! The 50s! I, uh, um, global warming? Are you kidding me? In any of it, it's only October 17th. It's really cold for being down here. But even with this cold weather here, LB, um, it still looks to me, chart pattern-wise, this completes a sell the D point, the A to B equals CD pattern. It completes a TD set of nine count. Both of those, good topping signals. Since then, prices move lower. Price is trading below Stevie's green line out there, which is at 269 for this contract. And this suggests that price may pull back to $2.41 out there. So I don't see, I know you want a bottom fish. I don't see the bottom fishing yet inside of uh, natural gas out there. So just, uh, just uh, keep the bait off of the hook so to speak, for the time being out there. The next question that came in, coming in from um, Edith. Edith writes in and says, hey, uh, thank you for your show. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for making it a show and listening. I'd like to enter Teva, T-E-V-A. So let's go take a look at that. I believe that is a biopharma company out here. 
Activa Pharmaceuticals uh, trading up nicely, up at uh, $10.39 right now. Uh, it is above its daily, its weekly uh, profiles out there, and uh, maybe uh, dealing with the top of its monthly, which is 10.53 out there. But let's finish right a uh, reading uh, Edith's question out here. So I'd like to enter Tiva. Could you please advise what price will be a good um, a good entry point to lower the risk of losses and how far it could go? Well, the only thing that's going to uh, re to to provide you with a uh, lower risk of a loss is position sizing. <clears throat> So we'll, 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 we'll just, well, we don't have a lot of time to discuss that. Here's the deal. You're looking for an entry price on Teva Pharmaceuticals out here, and uh, you'd have to play this from a momentum play to the upside. Uh, it's going to be day number eight of a TD setup nine count. Maybe this is going to identify a TD setup nine count and then pull back into about 952. So 952 would be one possible place to enter. Um, we come back from this break. During the break, I'll look at this a little bit further for you to see if there's anything else that I can come up with. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30% this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN.
Welcome back. Uh, so we're looking at uh, Teva Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol TEVA for Edith. And Edith is looking for an entry price. Now, Edith, when I took a look at the weekly and the monthly charts, they show really nice roads, momentum indicator, bottom patterns out there. So I think you're playing in the uh, right sandbox out here. Now, the, the monthly chart is uh, pushing, price is pushing up in resistance, 1053. So another 20 cents higher from, from where it is. And with the daily chart being in day number eight, of a potential TD setup nine count. Now the last two bottoms completed with TD setup nine count bottoms out here. Um, the and maybe this is going to give you a little bit of a topping pattern in order to be able to buy the pullback. Where is that? And if it does, again, we gave you entry prices of around 952 out there. We'd have to really see if this pull, as this should this pull back, what other patterns may be underway. So I think you're in the right spot. I would just hold off knowing that the monthly's at resistance and the daily has a topping signal. So best of luck there. Uh, the last question that comes in is from John in the Den. Says, uh, basically, the rally that began around October 3rd through today, do I suspect this is a rally to form an important top or will just simply continue to motor on higher? Uh, John, I wish I had the answer to that question. The only way for me to answer it is as follows, and that is just recognizing that there are potential topping signals in play. When I take a look at the ES Mini right now, we'd look at the same thing in the S&P 500. Today in the ES Mini, we've got bar number nine of a TD setup nine count. Perhaps we'll know over the coming days there's still an A to B equals CD to the upside. Until we see some type of bearish reversal candle form, price may want to continue to just simply move higher. October 3rd was a key bottom out here. That may have been the seasonal bottom, John. Well, not may have. That was the seasonal bottom, the bottom that we look for in the autumn time frame out there. Uh, that does not mean that the market cannot form a top. And there are topping patterns that are present, but nothing that has been confirmed just yet. But until we see support broken, price will just simply continue to edge its way higher. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. David White's up next, Tom O'Brien after that, and I'll see you on Terrific Tuesday. Have a magnificent, marvelous Monday.